Anthropic has struck a multi-billion dollar deal with Google to secure access to up to 1 million TPUs, tensor processing units, and over 1 gigawatt of compute capacity starting in 2026. Yes, you heard that right. 1 million chips, tens of billions of dollars, and one of the largest single infrastructure deals the AI industry has ever seen. This deal well, isn't just about speed upgrades. It's actually about locking in compute access for the next wave of frontier models, Cloud 4, Cloud 5, and beyond. Anthropic and Google have a long-standing partnership, and this latest expansion will help us continue to grow the compute we need to define the frontier of AI. End quote. This was said by Krishna Rao, the CFO, Anthropic. TPUs were once Google's internal secret weapon. Now, well, they've become a strategic alternative to NVIDIA. As demand for high-performance chips continues to explode, a single gigawatt of compute can actually cost roughly about, well, $50 billion to deploy. OpenAI has already locked up deals worth over $1 trillion to secure around 26 gigawatts of capacity. Wow, that's a huge number. Anthropic's move signals something bigger, clearly. The chip race is no longer about buying capacity. It's about controlling the future of model training. With this deal, Anthropic is positioning itself as Google's most important AI customer and partner outside its own ecosystem. And for Google Cloud, this is a direct shot at NVIDIA's supply chain dominance. Anthropic's choice to significantly expand its usage of TPUs reflects the strong price performance and efficiency its teams have seen with TPUs for, well, several years, end quote. This was said by Thomas Curian, CEO, Google Cloud, and this is also a hedge. Anthropic currently runs on AWS's Trainium NVIDIA GPUs and Google TPUs. But doubling down on TPUs signals where it actually wants its frontier training edge to really be. Over the last two years, NVIDIA has dominated the AI infrastructure landscape, with its GPU powering nearly, well, every frontier model. But Google is quietly mounting a very serious challenge. TPUs are already known for their power efficiency, tight integration with Google Cloud, and lower cost at scale. With Anthropic, valued at $183 billion and backed by Google, Amazon and others, betting big, well, this is effectively Google's coming out party as a top-tier compute supplier. NVIDIA might still own the majority of AI workloads today, but the real shift in market power could come from alliances exactly like this. The chip layer is no longer a commodity. It's actually becoming a strategic mode. While Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI are doubling down on custom silicon, Oracle is doing something else entirely. At Oracle AI World 2025, which AIM Network was covering extensively from the ground up, our Kiran, uh, sorry, Karan Bhatta, SVP at Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, explained why Oracle isn't building its own AI chip just yet. Um, never say never, but I think right now, when you think about um, AI chipsets, it's not just the hardware itself, it's a software ecosystem play, right? So we could build the best hardware, uh, you know, that we want, like, let's say, like Niavi and the way you're describing it, but it really comes down to like, well, all of the models and all of the software libraries, will they adopt it? It's a, you know, it's a multi-decade journey to be able to do that, right? So, um, so I think, I think it's a much more complicated answer, but in saying that we are still collaborating with AMD, NVIDIA, you know, all of our other vendors like am here to actually put in a lot of the things that we need out of our customers in their next generation, like, hardware architecture. So like even though we're not deploying like what you what you'd call like or all of this like you know custom shit, we are putting a lot of that feedback back into our hardware partners and deploying that in our cloud. So 
never say never, but I think uh, it really just comes down to customer choice and, and uh, the software ecosystem play as well. Too. Interesting. Like Karan mentioned, well, instead of chasing chip dominance, Oracle is partnering deeply with NVIDIA, AMD and Ampere and focusing on, well, networking innovation through Oracle Acceleron, repurposing all older GPU clusters for inference choice and flexibility for customers. It's not just about GPUs. You could be deploying a data center in the middle of nowhere, but you need network connectivity, storage, it's actually a much broader conversation than just GPU supply. But uh, added this. This is actually Oracle's contrarian bet. Don't fight for silicon. Build the infrastructure fabric that actually silicon needs. And finally, this isn't about chatbots anymore. It's actually about compute power. OpenAI is hoarding chips. Anthropic is locking in DPUs. Google is challenging NVIDIA. Oracle is quietly securing the network layer. Above the surface, the interface war dominates headlines. But beneath the surface, the infrastructure war will decide who actually wins. AI won't just live on your screen. It will live in the data centers, the cables and silicon that actually shape everything you see. Please do stick around because, well, this is the quiet trillion dollar war that will actually define the AI decade. And also, please let us know what you think in the comments below. Because as we unravel these developments in real time, this only happens on front page by AIM Network, India's definitive voice for everything AI and technology. For all of our viewers, we are actually making sure that we bring you all of the fresh updates and insights like never before. And if you are actually enjoying this, please make sure to share, subscribe and follow us. You know why? Because it really encourages us. And that's why we are doing all of this, putting in all the effort. And your uh, subscriptions really matter to us. Of course, now we're going to be heading on to the next news.